What? A pit formed in Luca's stomach. Where was the last place you saw him? Uh, we, we were playing around in Reap Wood, and then it was late, and we went home. Weep word? If he's alive, I'm going to kill that little creep. Is there anything else, anything that he said? Luca's mouth felt dry. Uh, no, we were just messing around. Okay. I need to go let people know to check the woods. You just stay out of trouble. Go see if he's hiding in the library or something. Luca could feel his heart beating in his throat. Oh, dude, that, that actually hit me too. I was like, he didn't make it home? Rolo. Where are you? What? I'm not allowed- I'm not supposed to le- Oh, God. Graham's gonna kick my ass. Graham is gonna kick my ass. Oh, hey, kid, what's up? Hey, bird. Have you seen Lolo by any chance? Nope. No, no, I mostly been taking the clipboards. And I said he had lots of stuff for the festival. This one said he had the process of answers. I told him that was fine. I, I, I'll wait right here until he gets back. Actually, I'm curious. Can I do anything over here? Why haven't you smack, have I? No, I have not. Smack is one? What the fuck? Okay, Luke bet. stuck a toy stretchy hand onto the hook. Those things always get dirty anyway. Yeah, cause it looks like I can only like go up to six with these. Oh nice. Should we give it to mom? She likes jewelry. I'd see that, Buckaroo. But I'm not sure she fully appreciate a pawn bracelet. Fair point. Hey, Jetson. Have you seen Lolo come this way by any chance? Hmm, afraid not. As elusive as the fish is, a fish in this pond here. In pond, uh, okay. Ah, oh, fuck you. Okay. Howdy, Luca. Hello again, Pete. I'm not Pete, you silly goose. It's Toby. You could have fooled me. Well, hey, it's no problem. The important thing is we'd love to hear your thoughts. Yeah, I'm getting that impression. Well, I'm part of something special, Luca. And it all starts. Right here in Beacon Pines, I got it. Up from the clipboard excitedly. Ah, that's right. So how about you start by telling me? Look, no offense, but I've got my own stuff to take care of. Oh, oh, you joker. We're all part of this together. You let us know when you're free to answer a few questions. Huh? Well, we really need to get back to work. A couple more minutes. If Roxy said she would be here, then she'll be here. I just don't see why I'm standing around doing nothing and waiting for Roxy when I could be standing around doing nothing and getting paid for it. <laughs> Come on, Lumi. Roxy needs your help. My parents wouldn't listen. No offense, but isn't Rolo always getting in trouble? Something feels different this time. What can we do? What can we do to help? We need to check where the adults aren't. So I guess it's up to us to check reap words. Our shit doesn't end for another couple of hours. We could spend the time making posters. That would be great. I guess. Right. Fitz and I will check reap words. We'll be back later to pick up the posters. I think my dad has a map of Reapwoods. Let's swing by my house and grab it before we head out.
That's cool. It actually tells you what the hell they're all doing. Um, what's this about a missing child? Oh, I must stress that the situation is completely under control. Uh, it, it just seems so terrible. And you're sure there's nothing we can do to help? Nonsense. Young Mr. Carter. Honestly, Mr. Hey, Carter. <laughs> hey, you look pretty good. Mm -hmm. I don't Young Mr. Carter will turn up safe and sound, I am certain. You just focus on settling in. I trust my sister has supplied you with suitable lodging. Oh, yes, Mr. Matt. Miss Valentine has been more than accommodating. We were just telling our daughter, Beck, that... Now, where did she run off to? Beck? Do you know anything? Hey, Don. Ah, no, no. Is it true about Rolo? Yeah, he didn't come home last night. I wonder if it's connected. Connected to what? I was checking in on reports about increasing activity around town. What sort of activity? Uh, windowless trucks, me mechanical noises, strange lights, uh, your typical shady stuff. Who would be doing all of that and why? Oh, well, I have a few leads. The Valentine family is always suspicious. Brunel Harvest certainly has those resources. You have any idea where Rolo could be? Well, the best place to start looking is where the trial went. It's where the trail went cold. Where did you see him last? We were in Reap Woods. Right by Valentine's fertilizer. I'll go I'll check out Reap Woods with my shit dance. I'll do my best work at night. Don, just be careful with that girl. You could get in trouble. Not well not get in trouble, but you can Hey you just History Museum! It's laughable! Really? Did you happen to see your Grolo in there? No, just a shadow of a family. Clinging on to a towel. Cling on to the past. Cling! Feel free to check it for yourself, but don't expect to have your mind blown. Ah, uh, yeah, but. Guess there might be another what's it called thing. Trapper Valentine, Celebration of Excellence. Oh, hello. No, Beacon Pines is a great town. What you may not know is great towns grow from mighty roots. Fucking know it. Why you cannot tell the story of Beacon Pines without telling the story of one Sharper Valentine. Young Sharper's keen intellect and strong moral fiber led to a grand vision. A vision of a community dedicated to a better tomorrow. In his own words, a better tomorrow is within our grasp, but it requires a singular mind to harness it. Lucky for us, he decided to grow that vision here, in Beacon Pines. And how does one grow a better tomorrow? With fertilizer, of course. Valentine's Fertilizer Company became the lifeblood of a town yearning for purpose. But then tragedy struck. A scientific experiment gone wrong. An accident which took Sharper away from us far too soon. To this day, we struggle to pick up the pieces. But one foul harvest isn't enough to stop the people of Beacon Pines. The spirit of Sharper Valentine lives on. It lives <laughs> Look like he's pissing on the ground. That's cool. I like that. That was unhelpful. Damn it! I was hoping there would be something. God damn it! Okay. Hey Griffin, has Rolo been here? Um, I hasn't seen him all day. I'm sure he'll show up safe and sound. When he does, tell him this Starbase Dr. Double Scoop waiting for him. On the house. He'll like that. Only other place I know the library would be would be over here. Yeah, right here. Kato volunteered at the library during the summers. He wasn't very social, so he'd dedicate each summer to becoming an expert in a single subject. Oh, nice. Making him a reliable source of very particular knowledge. Nice! If you were to ask Kato something he didn't know, 
he'd escape into the dusty old bookshelves and return with just the right thing. Hey, Kato. Kato was lost in his reading. Luca crooked his neck to see the title. Introduction to Melatology. Hmm. <clears throat> oh, hey, Luca, you stuck up on me. Oh, uh, good book. I no, no, just started. He gestured to the shelves. I really read out of books I haven't read yet. So now it's on the wonderful world of bees. And now bees are pretty cool. Francis, did you know that about 70% of the bee species actually live in underground tunnels? What the fuck? I don't know, there are two queens in a hive. They will fight to the death for supremacy. Go! Fight Hodilla! That's sick. Oh, that's interesting. But, um, you haven't seen Rolo around recently, have you? Not since yesterday. Uh, keep an eye out for him, okay? Sure thing. I'll see. I'll see if you'll be the first to know. Fuck. So he's not there. Hey, Jace. Oh, hey, Luca. Did Rolo come by? No. I was actually surprised. Usually here early on the day when the new issue drops. Rolo's the biggest Hank Atomic fan I know. Besides myself, that is. Well, if he does swing by, uh, tell him to meet me, you know where? I, I, I don't know where. No, he knows where. Oh. Watch that, space cadet. The bottom corner shelf was a dusty array of thick science books. Only one binding was clean enough to read. Cellular biology and the chemistry of mitosis. Boring. Okay, um, well, I've been wasting time right here, so let me just head on out. So the monster puts candy behind a locked door. What the fuck? Oh, yeah, Mr. Nuncred works weird hours sometimes. <laughs> of course he does. How about you? Uh, when do I work? <laughs> no. <laughs> What's your name? Oh, Luca Van Horn. You're new here. Yep, not by choice. moved often, giving her little time to establish any real connections. Uh, no offense to that. First playthrough? Yes. <laughs> yeah, no, uh, very first playthrough. I uh, haven't experienced anything with it so far. Really fucking enjoying it. And it's fitting with Halloween so far because a lot of creepy shit happened already. <laughs> Giving her a little time to establish any real connection. Yeah. She it that way. She's a fucking liar! No, I'm joking. I'm looking for my friend Roll, though. He didn't come home last night. So, that's missing. Huh. Yeah, I guess so. Like, missing, missing? Is that sort of thing happen a lot around here? Luca shifted his feet uncomfortably. <laughs> God, that, that, uh... Mm. <laughs> that fucking hit, man. Oh, God. <clears throat> Doesn't have a daddy. His mom was missing. Now his best... Oh, God, dude. Oh. Oh, that's terrible luck. Oh, my God. Well, that sucks. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, I, I should probably get going. See ya, bitch. Hey, wait up. What? Beck pulled a coin from her pocket. I'm coming with you. What? So says the unlucky penny. Unlucky penny? Yep, well, technically it landed on heads. Leave this kid to find his friends alone. But I always do the opposite. Oh, that's kind of like me and Rolo. <laughs> I guess Rolo is my unlucky penny. That settles it. A person should never be without their unlucky penny. Let's go find him. Name's Beck. Pleasure to meet you, Beck. You bitch. 
I suppose I could use some help. Try to keep up. Yeah, ba- Hey, dude, did you see Rolo by any chance? Joey, have you seen Rolo around? I'm sorry, Luca. I found my eyes in the dirt looking for Beatles. You never came home last night. Do you think it's because it's been colder than normal? I don't see why that would have anything to do with Rolo. Rolo. No, oh, the Beatles! Oh, god damn it. You think the temperature confused their shaka- Oh, fuck. Circadian rhythm or something? Uh, who's to say? I'm no beatologist. Keep eye out for him, would ya? Of course, the Beatles will live forever! They shall rule the world! Alright, cool. Oh, shit. I just saw the tree there. There's bees. Fuck that, I ain't going towards that. But, oh, what the fuck? Hey, that was not there, actually. Dang, they brought it up the way. Can I pick this up and throw it at it, maybe? Toss. Look, it apparently short-circuited the fucking, like, wiring. I mean, I don't know what magical powers these damn mushrooms could have. Whoa. Hey, this wasn't here before. Hello? Luca felt a chill as he approached back. Oh no. Locked on the strange green liquid. <laughs> the nearby grass was coated in a fine layer of frost. Uh, is this sort of thing normal around here? Because puddles of glowing ooze are definitely not what I expected from this place. I have no idea what that stuff is. Well, the next obvious step is science. And what does science suggest? Poke it with a stick! <laughs> watched as Beck dipped a broken tree branch into the goo. Not a bad idea. Size widened as flowers grew from the dead wood. Whoa. First small buds, which quickly bloomed into vibrant petals. Okay, well, there you go. I already got the whole, like, story right there. This is... Okay, so it's the fucking, um, Valentine Company trying to make a fucking, like, I guess, waste or type of fertilizer, uh, water that can help, like, grow plants. Because look what it just did to this broken stick. It fucking bloomed it. So if we could do that with plants and harvests, it can pretty much... Whew, and then they wouldn't be dealing with this whole harvest shit that's going on. Or this, uh... What, what did, was it? Uh, rough harvest? I, I forgot the name of it. But pretty much to where they wouldn't be going through a drought dealing with terrible shit, pretty much. There you go. Already, already got one small part of the story, maybe. I don't know. What the... Cool... Oh. the stick with a grunt of disgust. Okay, so it, it okay, so that I that that already just answered the whole fucking thing then. It's a failed fucking attempt. It had great start, but the problem is it didn't last long. And I think they are continuing to fucking like experiment with it so then they can like Wait. Does that mean they're doing human trials? Because in the last chapter before this one, oh, he, Luca had a dead arm on his hand. Oh, dude. I just realized that. Are, is this a failed trial? In the... Okay, that or... Or some shady shit's going on with the Valentines? And they're using it to keep people's mouths shut. It's a possibility. Okay. So, the science tells us this gunk is weird as hell. Uh, yeah, it seems dangerous. <laughs> hey, Tish, look what the cat dragged in. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I don't have time for this right now, Iggy. <laughs> the same thing like that, it hurts Tish's feelings. Ain't that right, Tish? Huh? 
God damn it. Uh, also, my my voices are too damn annoying. I do apologize. <laughs> it's just my voice act, I guess. Ah, she looks fine to me. Why, hello! I don't think we have been properly introduced. It is the name. This is my compatriot Tish. Oh, this is my compatriot Tish. <laughs> yeah. You probably heard of us. Can't say I have. <laughs> I'll forgive you just this once on account of you being near that dear. Why would you hang out with this dud? Uh, I'm literally just right here. Oh, he seems pretty alright. Icky, why do you have to be so... You? Have you ever, have you ever told you his parents skipped out on him? Oh god, oh, oh god. Get Where the fuck's the bat? <laughs> I am not afraid to use it on this fucking... What? God, what are you, a fucking rat? <laughs> I, I don't even know what the fuck he is, but I want to hit him with a bat already. Oh, fuck that, dude. I would kick your ass. Oh, God. Give me the option to smack him. Smack him or fight. Give me the option, please. Shut up. It's true. They got tired of having such a pathetic kid and left. <gasps> Give me the option to smack or fight this bitch. Iggy, I'm only going to say this one time. Don't talk about my family. <laughs> well, look who's got a backbone now. That a uh, girl's around. <laughs> this is Pop Crook. That is Mama Friday. You couldn't take it and we're bounced. Well, oh, God. Get, let me throw hands. Let me. His sneer lit by the mm, I need to throw hands with this kid. Beck could see tears welling in Luca's eyes. His fists clenched. Some things about Beacon Pines were very different from the city. But a bully from a hayseed town is really no different from a city bully. Beck took a deep breath and thought. Was that a tickle? Was that strange? I feel like a tickle would be very weird. What's that the strange? That sounds that sounds interesting. Alright. Hmm. Hi, look, it looks like you need the little mud bath. <laughs> What's wrong with you, a new kid? What about the pound? The, what about the pound, your friend? Beck stared in silence. Oh. The only sign of life being the twitch of an eye. Oh. 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 It's weird when people don't talk. Yeah. Stop being a weirdo. Uh, hello? Are, are you some kind of wackadoo? Makes sense, wackadoo's travel in packs and then... Uh... the sight of Iggy taunting back, something in Luca snapped. Iggy's smirk shifted to a look of shock as Luca launched himself into his stomach. <gasps> the clothes were drenched in the glowing ooze. Oh. Shit. Uh... I, I might have to go back on this one. I think I just killed the kid. He ejected my clothes and ruined. I'm gonna. His voice began to slur as he struggled to get up. Oh no! Struggle? I don't feel so good. I, I'm sorry. I just. Oh shit! Um, uh. Did I just fucking kill him? That was intense. I think he's gonna be okay, right? Nothing about this seems okay. The person of the warehouse. The strange ooze and what it did to Iggy. It might actually fucking kill him if it did that to a plant. Was Rolo caught up in all of this? Oh, fuck, dude. If he landed in that. Oh, no. 
We have to find Rolo. You took the words out of my mouth. Well, then... Hello there, little buddies! <laughs> Here's Shadowway! Where in the dickens are you, Turnish part of town? No, 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 no. Oh, we were just helping look for Rolo. Oh, yeah, I haven't heard the news. Good news. Well, I should have safe and sound vinegar. Safe and sound a bit ago. God, where the fuck was he? Really? So where was he? It's funny, really. He just got a little turned around in the woods. Making me disoriented, you know. I'm starting to get that impression. Oh, I was at his house now, getting so well deserved rest. Well, that's a relief. It's just a scary long before you get lost to shells. <laughs> yeah, come on, Beck. Uh, I can't wait to introduce you to Rolo. Oh, no, Roger! Luca, your grandmother is looking for you. <laughs> I'm fucked. She was. She was right sick. <laughs> you should watch it straight home. <laughs> I guess. Back your fox right big hitting water towel. Okay, I need to stop that fucking word. I hate that shit. Oh I'll get home! Uh no, fuck off. Uh 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 Stranger Danger I talk with Nelly about work anyway. Beck glanced toward Luca. I guess all's well that ends well. I'll introduce you to Rolo tomorrow. Sure. Yeah. Glad he's okay. Something doesn't seem right. Rolo was safe. Was he though? A wave of relief washed over Luca, which was quickly replaced by a sense of dread. Is Iggy okay though? That's the better question. Or is Iggy dead? Because if so, I need to go back. Gran is going to kill me. Yep. If he hurried, he might just make it home before sundown. Chapter four. Our harvest awaits.